What's up guys? Okay, so today's video is not actually a question from a subscriber or anything like that. It's going to be talking about the subject of whether lucid dreaming is scary or not. Now, some I get lots of emails every day and lots of people search for uh, the, the question, is lucid dreaming scary? Um, and I'd like to answer that in this video. So, to begin with, when you lucid dream, what you're doing is you're uh, walking through your subconscious mind. You're experiencing the dream world as if it was the waking world, okay? So, it can be scary if, for example, you're dreaming about something which you don't like, something you fear, uh, or something you wouldn't want to experience. And now let me just explain what I mean by that. When you dream, your subconscious mind fills the dream world with things that are floating around in your subconscious mind, things that you're not really consciously aware of normally in waking life. And this can be anything from fears, uh, negative past experiences, trauma, uh, emotional damage, anything like that. And all of these things can show up in a lucid dream and that is why to some people it is very scary. Now, don't let this put you off because it's not a bad thing. Uh, instead, I'd like to sort of suggest a way which you can deal with uh, the scariness of lucid dreaming and actually turn it into something positive and productive. So, let's just start with the first one. Say if you're scared of something, for example, uh, a dog, wasps, that's me personally, I'm scared of wasps, uh, or you know, if you're scared of the dark, these things will, more often than not, they'll show up sometime in your lucid dream. They will show up at some point, okay? Uh, and the key is not to actually uh, focus on them as a negative thing, but to ground yourself in the lucid dream, to do your reality check, okay? Make sure you're stable and you know it's a dream. That's sort of the first part of the puzzle. Uh, and then look at it as something which you can learn from, okay? So look at, say, say if you're scared of dogs and you see a dog in a lucid dream. The normal tendency would be to run away from it or to fly away or to use superpowers to uh, get the dog to go away. Okay, That will work Okay, and that will stop you having a nightmare. That will solve the problem of you having a scary lucid dream if that's the way you want to go about it. And that will work for as long as you wanted to. However, what I would suggest to do is instead of uh, you know dismissing whatever it is you fear, like the dog for example, I would actually approach the dog and I know this might sound a bit silly, uh, especially if you haven't done it before, but your subconscious mind will um, populate, if you will. It, will. it will make the dog speak back to you. I know this sounds really silly, and if you haven't experienced it, obviously, it's going to sound even more silly. Uh, but yeah, so what I would do is talk to the dog, for example, and say, what do you represent? Ask it why you're scared of dogs. And you'll be very surprised at the answers your subconscious mind will actually give you. Uh, more often than not, it will give you a detailed reason that you're scared of dogs. And what this does is this means you can work on that fear in real time in your dream. You can actually speak to your subconscious mind and actually speak to the fear. Uh, so that is a really productive and interesting way to deal with a scary lucid dream. It might be scary at first, uh, but like I said, you have two options. You can either use lucid dreaming to make the fear go away and to not have a scary lucid dream or you can confront that fear and deal with emotional issues and actually improve yourself as a person in waking life as well as in the dream. So I hope this has uh, sort of cleared things up for you. It, you know, lucid dreaming can be scary sometimes. Most of the time it's not and most of the time it's absolutely fine but of course you're walking around your subconscious mind, you're going to find at some point the negative aspects, okay, so you're going to find the fears, you're going to find the if you've experienced trauma or, or something bad in your past, that is stored somewhere in your brain. You have the memory of that, and so at some point you're going to run into that. Uh, but I think it's important to just be aware of the fact that it's all in your mind. So you have the choice, especially if you're lucid, if you're in control and you're aware of what you're doing, you always have the choice of how to deal with whatever it is you're experiencing. If it's a fear, you have the choice of running away or confronting it and working on the problem and actually solving the problem. Uh, you know, if it's a negative past experience, you again, you have the option to heal yourself and to actually work on that problem or use lucid dreaming to fly away and, you know, not deal with the problem. So it's entirely up to you. But I hope this has cleared up the, uh, the question, is lucid dreaming scary? And if you have any questions for me, please do comment, uh, send them into the channel email. I've noticed that um, some, some people ask questions in the comments and other people will comment and reply and answer the question for me. And that's really helpful. And I really want to sort of build up a little community of people doing that and having people sort of answer questions for each other and help each other out because that's what this is all about. We're sort of growing and learning together. So if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe, especially 
because I'm planning on releasing a new product soon, which will be covering uh, superpowers in lucid dreams and explaining how to, you know, fly, use telekinesis, teleport, time travel, all these exciting things. Uh, and that's going to be a new ebook on the site howtolucid.com. So if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe now uh, on the website, or at least subscribe to the YouTube channel so I can give you updates on that. So awesome! I'll see you in the next video.